Okay, everyone, I'm going to show you my Back to the Future 1 Butaba remote. This is not the original remote. It was a PCM remote. This one says Conquest on the bottom. Very similar style. Um, I've added the two um, dials here, and then it's got the number, the stop, and uh, pretty standard there. Um, and then the, the back panel here. Now, um, if you look at the movie, if you do screenshots of the movie, this panel is actually not square. And I have replicated that in the orientation. So it's actually, it's, it's, it's awkwardly to the right. Like it's not square, but that's movie accurate. If you, if you look at it, this panel is not square at all. Anyway, um, it gets power by a nine volt battery right here. These three are dummy. So I can pull one out and you can you can see that's way lighter than a real real battery. So um, I have I've made a slit right here. I've taken all the guts out. And so this is just a dummy. And so um, when you're replacing batteries, you only have to replace one, which is much easier. So that just snaps in right there. This is the real battery. And it is a it's like a Rayovac. And this one is actually um, this one's actually a shell. So this one has a shell on it. And you just slip that over. I have widened the connections here so that uh, this just snaps over any old 9 volt battery so that it looks like it's correct. Um, if you go to buy new Duracell batteries, they have lines on the uh, on the copper there. So these are the older style. I mean, not they're 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 expired in 25, so they're fairly new. Uh, but the new ones all have those lines on there, and I didn't want lines. Um, so now you're kind of set forever. You don't have to mess with these. You only have to mess with that one battery. So to power this on, very simple. That's the main on-off switch. So you click that on. You come around to the front. Um, you just click that on and off. And notice that the voltage power regulator actually moves when you click it on. That's pretty cool. And so in order, and you can adjust that, this one right here is the adjustment for that. So if you, I don't know, want to pretend that it's low battery or something. But uh, yeah, you can, you can fiddle with this. You can put that, oh, we have new batteries. We've got, you know, I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, that moves. So that's kind of cool. That's something some of the other ones don't have. Um, a lot of these, like this doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Nothing, nothing. There's two over here. These do nothing. Um, this one right here just turns on 88 miles per hour. And let's see. And then um, this one does the stop button. And I have modified that with a LED, with a warm LED to make it look. It looks a lot. It looks it looks pretty good. It's not as bright as it's showing in the, uh, in the video. But that turns on your stop, your uh, main brake for the, for the car. And then we also have the antenna, the mast. This thing is insane how big this is. And it's flop, it, you see it flopping around in the video. But see, it's, it's insane how tall that is. But uh, I don't want it to get bent or broke or something, but that, that's there. And then, um, let's see. It has some cool sound effects. I'll show you those. Um, now, I... Here's, here's my list of uh, the uh, sound effects. So we have Back to the Future 1. So up is music, down is talk. Back to the Future 2, music. Back to the Future 2, talk. Back to the Future 3, music. Back to the Future, talk. So music, talk, music, talk, music, talk for Back to the Future 1, 2, 3. So hit that up. And it's got a soundboard in here, and this is the volume. And I don't want to play too much of this for copyright reasons. So there's Back to the Future uh, 2 theme song. Back to the Future 3 seems theme song. We got... There's one talk. And it's on random. So you got... There's a little bit of loopage in there. 
Welcome to the... Watch where you're going! Marty! The new game's on the dashboard! Ready! So you got... Just a hold up! It's a science experiment. It's a science experiment! <laughs> But yeah, you get the idea. Um, so that's pretty cool. You got sounds on the back. And it doesn't have any labels. These are the original labels from the movie. These are um, just, I hate to say it, but these are vintage. Um, the Click Type um, uh, label maker. And that's a real, that's not a, that's not a printed anything. That came from a real uh, clicker type um, label maker where it stretches the plastic and it creates white where it stretches it. So those are those are pretty cool. And let's see. Um, that's about it. And then uh, another thing I have with this is this is actually a remote control remote. Uh, I have this uh, Jada car. I think it's 132. I'll have to look at it. Um, yeah, it's Jada. And it's got a new battery in it. Um, these batteries seem to last like a year and then they you have to charge them and be professional about it. But anyway, it's got it's got its charger for the lithium-ion battery inside and it's, I got a spare one right here um, But yeah, so we're gonna click this on and when you click this on it connects to the car so we are connect since this is on it is connected to the car and so I can hit left, right, forward, and back. And what's really cool, I have this connected to a relay. I hope this works. I have this connected to a relay, and so now the throttle doesn't work. So basically the idea is you hit it, hit the gas just like the movie, and then when you click this, it goes, well, I'm sorry. So you hit the brake, the throttle's over here. So you hit the throttle all the way forward, and then when you hit the brake, it comes back on. You, uh, that was <laughs> not as epic as, as it was. So on, we're going to do throttle. And then as soon as I turn the brake off, there we go. So that's kind of how that works. So the brake actually works, just like in the movie. Um, so that turns that on and it stops the car. So, um, so yeah. And then uh, if you turn this off, car's off and then you hit this button. It will try to connect. I thought it would do it. Off, and then it tries to connect. Well, it's not doing it now, but sometimes it will, uh, maybe if I turn this off, turn it back on. And then if I do this, there we go. So I am not connected. So this is a Bluetooth, I believe, or uh, RF. Um, anyway, it's not connected. So if it's not connected, then it's got this blinky light on here. It's waiting to be connected. So instead of having that, you know, kind of annoying, you just leave this in the... Uh, so if you're not playing with the car and you're just, you know, walking around uh, cosplay or something with this, you can put this in the down position and it's just a solid, solid red. And so now it's just on and off with the main switch. Like so. But yeah, it comes with this uh, card here. So we got uh, the voltage indicator on off switch for the, for the, um, for the 88. And some of them do a sequence where it ramps up and down. This one does not. Uh, throttle stop left, right, but uh, yeah. I'm selling this. It's going to be on eBay. Um, but yeah, you, you get all of that with this kit, this setup. But yeah, I've, I mean, it's got all the correct stuff on here. It's got the tilted box. It's got the white uh, connector up here. It's got black electrical tape up here. Um, these, um, it's got the clips. I don't believe the clips are in the movie. I actually think these were double stick taped to the um, to the box here. It's hard. It's real hard to see because I couldn't find any high res pictures of how these are connected. It does have the vintage style, um, vintage what I remember. Some of them have these these plastic like thick connectors for the batteries, but these are those real chintzy thin uh, connectors that I kind of remember being on all the toys 
I think these were very common, just that, that thin plastic um, connectors for the batteries. And then this over here is LED. This is a 3D printed part. Um, and you can see the, the, the print lines there. This is just, um, it's just a plastic piece on there. And uh, these little bolts here, I have, in the movie, uh, these are very sharp. They're a very sharp uh, angle here. So I have rounded them just so just so you're not going to cut yourself on it. Uh, but that's this weird little angle bracket here. And uh, yeah, it's just everything's bolted on here. It's real, real uh, solid. It's not going to fall apart on you. It's actually pretty comfortable to hold. Um, I, uh, and then if you wanted to put a uh, lanyard on here, there's a strap right here, a holder for there. But uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching.